Hi guys, welcome back to Terra Craft with me, Sid, and uh, I've just literally slept the night away. Um, I'm kind of eating some of my decaying veggies here because they're getting a little rotten. Um, so I've been down and, and dug out the stuff that's, you know, kind of dying to death. And we got that, but I have been very busy. Um, I continued the tunnel and the road after the last episode, and I've also built a second bridge. So today my plan is to go on a bit of a road trip, and let's get you caught, and no, no, come on, oh man, a bit of a road trip, um, follow obviously so we can see a... Oh, come on. Oh, sorry. No. Why will you not let me get on you? Have I completely forgotten how to get on a horse now? Right click. There we go. We got it that time. After punching the horse to death anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, we have... Oh, oh God. Come on, get over. So we've got the road. I've been checking my crops. They're not quite ready yet. And this is the road we built last time. And we can trundle through here. And this is the tunnel. Now the tunnel comes out. Oh, better let it world load. Typical moment I start recording. I've only just been over here. And uh the moment I start recording, the world decides to stop loading. So, yeah, we've come right through. We've got the um, torches there. Let me F3A. See whether we can't get a bit better world loading there. And we come up here, and then I've started and I built this bridge across to the other land here. Now, on the way back, I want to collect a whole load of this, uh, this is uh, corn on the cob, and that is, I think, barley off the top of my head. But before we go on our road trip, I want to pick up a bed, and, I mean, there is literally, literally tons of this stuff everywhere. So, I've got, already got, I think, about 19, and as you can see here, there's more and more of this stuff, so... I'm going to head over to... Oh, God, help. I can't see. <sighs> this is lethal, these forests. I'm going to go head over to our little mining site where we found the... Oh, God, what did we find over the... Oh, God, what was it? Bismuth. That was what I was the word I was looking, looking for. And... Because there's still a bed there, so we can pick that up and we can have a look and then just get a bit more exploring done on this oh god this continent he says oh, i didn't bring i didn't bring a fence post with me oh well doesn't matter i can make one of those easy enough i've got sticks but this is all am i going to have problems here oh pumpkins i don't know whether we can actually use pumpkins for anything if you do know, please do let me know, because I think I saw them before and I didn't bother. Whoa. Bother collecting, then. I'm trying to avoid falling down any holes with this horse, which is as yet unnamed. Um, we've had a variety of suggestions, ranging from the noble-sounding wind... Ow. Thanks. The noble sounding wind spirit, uh, marshmallow, and peanut. Now, if I'm honest, I am tempted to go with peanut butter jelly. Um, because then at least we can just sit there and say it's peanut butter jelly time when we. Uh, when we intend to go out riding the horsey. So that's my my current thought, but do let me know. I mean, at the end of the day, we have no name tags. So, right now, where? Maybe 
it's over that way still. I think I've got so many markers on this map now and waypoints that it's actually proving difficult. Oh god. Don't kill me, horse. It's sometimes proving more than a little difficult, in fact. Ooh, that's an oak, I think. I think I've got that one. Um, yeah, it's proving more than a little difficult to... Uh... You know, I'm completely... Completely... Drawing a blank on what the hell I was just saying, then. I'm sure it's... Uh, uh, this looks vaguely familiar. We Oh! Sorry. Sorry, us. What are these? Those trees don't look familiar. Hmm. Am I lost? The eternal question. No, this kind of looks familiar, I think. There we go. A shack to call our own. Right, so let's um, hmm. let's just make something to tether this guy up to. Uh, you can be tethered here, uh, and we'll we will spend the night. There you go. Yeah, so peanut butter jelly time, I think, is the way my mind is kind of working on this. But um, as I say, let me know what you think on the name. Yeah, so we've got a bed here, um, so we can stop the night. There was, I mean, look, there's um, that's, uh, magnetite, I think, off the top of my head. And there's, we did explore quite a bit around here, so I have looked around and got, things but I want to kind of head that way a bit and if I've got the bed then we should be good to uh, to camp out and do a little bit of exploring see if we can't find any more interesting sweet uh, seeds uh, food whatever we may be uh, never did manage to find the magnetite here which is a shame just you stay put you bugger uh, what did I leave here did I leave it? Oh, that might be useful and possibly let me really I might call you stampy because you're bloody noisy enough uh, I think that should be enough actually a small casserite a casserite that's Iron, I think, so I don't know where I found that. <coughs> and some barley bread, which hasn't decomposed yet, so we'll take that with us while we're at it. Anything else? Just pitch up the things, really. So I'm going to wait here, let the night come, and we'll pass the night, and then we can do some exploring proper with the horse and a bed to sleep in. Um, so I will be back in a moment. Okay, morning, got the bed. I picked up one of those water barrels as well, and I'm going to head out this way, I think. Uh, now, these trees, I'm probably going to have to come back and get some of those. I'm not really on a... Hello, chicken. Well, pheasant. Um, oh, good job these horses are tough. Yeah, these trees, I'm going to have to, because I think these would be quite good for tree farming, because they're quite tall. Not entirely sure what kind of tree they are. I'm not even sure if I can find a safe way around down here. Come on. Yeah. Like a gazelle. Yeah, so, uh, well, it's it's Wednesday for me uh, while I'm... Oh, God. That's one of the problems when the world doesn't load. You run into cliffs. It's Wednesday for me while I'm recording this, so... Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, I've just had a wonderful... Ooh, what's this? 
What have I just picked up? Squash seeds. Hmm. Any more? No? And I've had a... Oh, there's one. I've had a day from hell, I think is the only way of describing it. Um, PC disposals came along, so we're getting rid of a whole load of computers. Wasn't expecting those today, so 71 computers, a whole bunch of monitors, all had to go and be, you know, checked off against the list. And what is it about bureauc bureaucracies that like makes them like lists? I I will never understand that. Whoa, hello. Somebody down there. Let me put that away and Hmm. The only problem of course because we're doing this on horseback is it does mean that I could miss quite a bit. But um yeah, it's nice to just have a look around the surrounding terrain and see what is going on what that looks like a sphalerite to me oh that looks like a dangerous hole to me and yeah so as i say it's been one of those days where it's just been non-stop constant work and i really really just thought it'd be nice to just come out have a look around the surroundings A bit avoid that skeleton, of course. And instead of doing all the heavy, you know, crafting and smithing and yay, no tree, no mountain's going to get in the way of my peanut butter jelly. Oh, that spider. Is it me? Or oh, I don't think I've been here before. So how come there's all these mobs spawning around here? Yeah, so I thought, as I say, I thought it'd be just a nice steady change once this deigns to... Uh, can I get up here? Uh, let's have a look at what kind of jumper this is. It is a jumper. Absolutely a jumper. Mm, don't think I'm going to get much further over that way though, so maybe I need to go back down again. Oh, maybe not that way though. Let's try it that way. I'm just trying to avoid that spider before he... Dear. Oh, God, that scared the half me to death to death. Whoa. It doesn't help when you get these spurts of speed and lag either. To be brutally honest. Mm. Right, I need to eat. Oh, I've just noticed my food is getting very low. <laughs> It's midday, so we've still got plenty of time to go. So I'm going to just see, and rather than sit here rattling, prattling on, I'm going to just carry on and having a look what's a bit further north of us, and I will be right back with you. Okay, I'm not finding a huge amount. Of, I did find some green bean seeds, and I've now found uh, this lot here, rye, which, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Can't craft when you're on horseback, unfortunately. Come on, where did that go? But, um, oh, or was that not Raya? Maybe I missed and just hit a piece of grass. Come on, give me. So, yeah, that's, um, I think, I don't think I've got any Raya. I think this is a new one for uh yeah what's the time still got plenty of time i'm kind of heading back in a circle here um 
I've had a few near scrapes with holes in the ground and the horse has tried to go and, you know, throw itself in there. Uh, and periodically we've just kind of done this and we've kind of led and rather than road because some of this terrain is really not favourable for horses. I've had a few wolves as well um, try to eat the horse, which not right, is it? No, you're not wolf. You're not dog food. You're a good horse. Not like the other one I left. Oh, that's not good. Come on. So, oh, what's this over here? Some seeds that have popped. I'll keep on finding these. Up these popped off seeds oh more rye seeds okay well we'll have them don't like these dark spaces they all oh, for that reason there <laughs> I've uh, went riding through a tree got a zombie took a swipe at me as I went past didn't actually don't know where he came from he was just stood there in the tree and uh, next thing, bap. Isn't that right, peanut? I think peanut is actually sticking. Uh, peanut for short, peanut butter jelly time for long. So, yeah, I'm not really. Of course, I was a bit of a derp, as per. Oh, and it is time to tether you. Come here. Come on. There we go. Thank you. It's getting late, so we need to hide ourselves away. So I'm just doing the usual um, structure that I would normally, oh, not like that, usual do, usually do. And we just pop up on top. And that ju just gives us enough protection for the night. And we are all good to sleep. Just need to eat quickly. Uh, I'll eat those gooseberries I picked. I picked some fruit on the on route. Okay, that's gone. Uh, and some pork. And sleep. And we should be good for the for the next day. The only problem with this is, of course, it takes a little while to tear this back down again once you've done. Um, what this game really needs is some more uses for leathers, if you're listening. Mr. Modpack Developer and... Uh, one use would be a tent. A nice, you know, maybe use several bits of leather or something like that and craft it together to make a, a secure tent to rest the night in that you can erect quickly and put down again. Just a thought. Putting it out there. Uh, but once we've done that, we can go and grab the horse and I think I'm going to continue moving back towards home. Um, as I say, I'm kind of going circuitously. Oh, there's another one. Give me. Oh, God. Here we go. Got to catch the horse quick, because otherwise it's off. Come back, you bugger. There's got to be a better way than this. I mean, it's, you know, fair dues. This is a hell of a lot easier. Oh, run out of that. What we got now? Potatoes. Lovely. Um, oh, come here. Right. So what we need to do now is find a way. We need to be over that way, basically. And there's, between me and there, there's a lot of uh, water. I think there is anyway. I, I would know if the world would load. 
that must be aha yes this is exactly where we want to be this is all this um, corn that we spotted right dare I try tie this bloody horse up oops gonna be off having a get there I mean. oh. there we go okay so round here as I say there was a huge amount of what's in that that's empty that's empty that's empty uh, well that's empty that's got some stuff in it that one I don't think has so I'll stick you in there and then we'll head around here and we'll see what goodies we can find there we go, I knew there was a little bit over this side. So this is maize, which I believe we can make flour of out of, the, the, the same as uh, as, as maize. <laughs> um, so over here we've got a whole buttload of it. I could do with finding, there we go, fresh water. Bonk. Monk. and let's just go and grab a whole load of this stuff and then I think that was I say barley maybe an oats I could be I could be entirely wrong there but this will certainly supplement our diet give us more crops and so that's that one no, not that one, not that one, not that one. It's that one. Let me just put you up there. So that's 160 ounces. But, yeah, as I say, I can't believe I forgot my prospectors. Pro pros blah, blah, blah. Prospectors pick. Which uh, is a touch embarrassing, to say the least. Come on, let's have you. But as a foraging expedition, this is pretty good. I don't know why. Where this is, this wasn't here when we first spawned here, so it must have sprung up over. I know, I know the crops do kind of respawn um, over time, just like real life, really. So that's another hundred and sixty, and. The question is how much it might it's, it's all going to pop off come winter anyway, so it would be kind of silly not to pick it up. But it's also probably all going to rot before I have a chance to eat it all. Okay, you are full. That's got some take that out and stick that in so i'm going to grab some of this i'll also grab some of that barley it's everywhere look and i will be right back with you okay i grabbed a whole load there's this more food there than anybody can reasonably eat horse is going nuts and it is getting night time so i think we're going to head back uh, i'm at about oh, there's your mate over there about 25 minutes but I just wanted to just have a little explore really this episode as I say and, and and not do anything too momentous we've got a few more seeds and quite a lot of food which I'll just show you once we get back and eat and yada yada but this is the only way to travel whoa except for when the world doesn't bloody load <laughs> Uh, in we go. Come on. Come here. Ah. Oh. You are irritating me now. Right. No. So 
you want. There we go, and then we can take that off. Right, we've left it... Oh, hello. We've left it a little late, but I think if this horse will get out of my bloody way, we can make a run for the uh, house, sleep the night off, and we should be good. Let me eat some bread. Oh, no. Right, that should do this. Oh. Really? Where? Hmm? Yeah. I'm going to listen to him burn in the morning. So yeah, as I say, I just wanted to have a, a little explore early this episode. Run around. Um, see what was what. What's going on around here? I can't actually see... I can't see Jack Diddley because the world's not loading still. Oh, we've got skeletons up there. And a zombie outside by the looks of it. Uh, what have I got? A potato. You're never alone if you've got a potato. Okay, so what did we get? Well, we got eight green bean seeds, three squash seeds. Uh, forget that. rest of that. We've got a whole load of maize ears, uh, some more maize, 160 ounces of barley. Uh, what else there? Rye seeds, rye seeds, rye, maize ears. Maize ears and a bit of barley. So, oh, and, and barley seeds, of course. So, we're pretty good actually, I think, from uh, that little trip out. Um, as I say, this there is literally more food than you can shake a stick at over there. But, um, obviously. Oh, you got issues with capacity, and let me just come up here and see if we can't see if that spider's buggered off or not. I can't hear him. I think he's probably despawned. Handy having this roof, you can uh, you can scout out for badness. And if you want to, you can fall down the chimney as well. Um, so yeah, as I say, not a huge amount done. I think our crops are getting close to completion. The jute must be getting close. It, it wasn't quite there last time I checked. Um, Food-wise, that's been a useful trip out. It would have helped if I took my prospector's pick. Because then at least I could have had a look for metals as well. But, you know, I was an idiot. I didn't. And... That's what happens. Now, where's that zombie gone? I think he must have died out here. Um, so, yeah, I think next episode we should be harvesting. Uh, we should be getting all of the food. What's the uh, season now? 1st of August. So, yeah, we've still got a little bit of summer left, actually. Uh, I could do with eating some fruit, actually. That would improve my... Uh, health somewhat. I just happen to know there's some berries here. Uh, and there's one there as well, isn't there? Well, there's quite a few berries ready, but we can do that. And I'm going to have to seriously go and try and find some graphite, because I, I'm just not finding it. And Oh, and it was also suggested, which I will be doing, is getting some of that lignite I found around the place, um, coal. Because that will uh, obviously allow us to save on the charcoal um, for what we need it for, which will be ultimately... Do you mind, guys? Shh. Yeah, it will allow us to uh, use the charcoal for other things, such as when we get to the blast furnace stage and stuff like that. Now, I am a million, million, bazillion miles away from that. But, yeah. Um, so thanks for watching guys not got a lot done I, I will be honest I will admit it myself but um, better to get a little bit done and pick a few things up than get nothing done no you're not ready are you um, so until next time 
as I say, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.